everybody. I know it's been a while since I've uh, done one of these, but I'm back. And you may remember my friend Gloria. Um, a few weeks ago we did an interview with her. She was uh, going to try to qualify for the Senior Olympics. And so she had her qualifications. And tell us, Gloria, how'd you do? Well, I qualified out of three out of five events. Um, so that was good. So we met our goal, which was to qualify. And so now we have... And she got... I got uh, three bronzes, so three third places in the 100 IM, the 100 back, and the 200 back. And so I'll get to swim those events in June of 2019. That's amazing. That's awesome. Her first time. First right, time ever. right. So now tell me, how rough was it? What, what did you deal with? You know, how did you feel after competing? Well, I have to tell you, um, it, was a, it was a struggle. I hadn't really participated in an event like that and I felt kind of overwhelmed and so there was a lot of adrenaline. I didn't know how to actually manage it. It felt totally out of control. felt like my leisurely swims, and they aren't leisurely, uh, there, there was, uh, it was kind of an out of body experience wow. quite honestly. Wow. Yeah. It, uh, it not very, it not very, um, it didn't feel good at all. So uh, Vinny, who is my coach, was there and kind of talked me down, you know, really asked me to try to find some way to manage that anxiety and that adrenaline, you know, to make it uh, positive instead of negative. And um, I can't say as I managed that the first day, but the second day I managed much better. So. So I feel like, uh, you know, it's little baby steps, yeah, right? Baby the competition steps. is, a, it's a whole different level and um, you kind of have to know what you're getting into and I didn't and yeah. uh, so uh, hopefully next time I'll do better. Now, Gloria was telling me, and I, which I find this is just incredibly amazing, the two women that she com that they competed um, placed ahead of her, now tell them how far well, I can't really say, but I'm going to say my time is probably uh, maybe 40% slower than the women that placed first and second. So it was a good experience because I was able to look at my competition and see what level of fitness they were at and what their performance was based on that. So, um, you know, we have some big goals this year. Yeah. Um, you know, we have to drop 30 pounds and we have to uh, work really hard and streamline. And I think that both of those things will make me more competitive, uh, you know, and um, then we just have to stay on that goal for as long as I continue to swim, which, which I hope to do into my 80s. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. And now, didn't you see also those girls have competed before? Yes. Uh, so, uh, so yeah. when I looked at the records for 2017, records in those swim events for the state of New Mexico, uh, the gals that consistently won first and second had won first last year, and I didn't go back any further. So, I mean, they've been actively swimming and competing for a long time, so, and yeah. they're 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 ready right? See, so that's amazing that she can even place you know uh, up in the top three with people that have competed like and so i think that's fabulous well, i think that's awesome I, you know thank you so the interesting thing is that uh, i competed in the 60 uh five to 69 age group for the qualifying but when i actually swim next year i'll be in the next age group uh i'll be called i'll be swimming in the 70 to wow. 74 age group so one or two of those um, competitors will be there. Uh, some of them will still be in the lower age group. So it's it's a whole new game, but yeah. I can imagine the intensity is going to be just that much bigger because yeah. um, they expect uh, over 2,000 athletes wow. in Albuquerque wow. next June to compete in all the various activities. And each state is able to qualify three swimmers in every age group for every event. I don't know who's going to show, but yeah, that's you know, it's uh, it's a big meet. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. 
And it, it, can you believe that she's, you know, going to be in the 70 age group? It's like, no Yay. way! She looks amazing. You're amazing. And thank, thank you so you. much. And we look forward to seeing how she does next year. We will follow her yeah. story, you know. So next year at this time, we'll probably be looking at a gold medalist. Yeah, so, probably not. Yeah. But stay yeah. tuned. Plus We're going to have some good yeah. progress. All right. Thank you again for watching. And thank you again for being here. Oh, I thank appreciate you, Daisy. Thank you guys you. have a good day. And I'll see you next time. Sure.